Just when you thought you were done with the board, you realize you forgot that one resistor, maybe a bypass cap, or need to change the width of a signal because of its load. Updating your electronic design in Fusion 360 is pretty simple. After updating the part on the schematic, the component will appear on the edge of the board. Move the part near the area it is intended to be placed. The hatch markings that appear are letting you know of DRC violations. Fusion 360 DRC works in real time. Move the component to make some space. You may have to do a few changes to the traces as well. Don't worry, the angles will be preserved and the hatch markings will disappear when production compliance has been met. After placing and mirroring the new part, let's do some routing. Traditionally, you would have to rip up all the traces in the surrounding area before you could line up the new signal, meaning you would have to spend some time routing the new and the old traces all over again, not with Fusion 360. Just select the push and shove option and plow your way with the new route. Yep, it's that easy. Now, let's route our five volt source. For our design, we'll be using 10 mil wire width for our power rails. With a push and shove, I just plow my way between the existing traces to accommodate the required width. Why not try this today? Download today and design today. All this and more with Fusion 360.